Hello, I am here covering Dillard's. Dillard's is my local department store and a favorite place for me to shop. I'm going to talk about um, what they have in store right now and brands that I recommend and pieces that I recommend at Dillard's and then the ones that I caution against because like any department store, it's going to have you know, things that are better options for us than others. So this is the Born on Fifth collection. Um, they have some beautiful pieces, but also some quite challenging pieces. I love this plaid um, dress with a long velvet bow. Um, I think that's a fabulous holiday piece. Um, I, I like this white dress. I like this little bow detail coat. Um, I like the metallic midi skirt and the tiered metallic skirt and the little faux fur coat I think is beautiful. Um, I think this is a beautiful classic gown, the black and white one here. I think that's lovely. Um, however, for the most part, I would say with this Born on Fifth brand, you want to focus on their accessories. Um, they have great shoes. You can see the shoes in here. They have great shoes. Um, just really, really nice accessories. They have plaid pumps. They have lots of evening pumps. Really nice accessories. Um, Okay, let's look at what else they have. So Antonio Milani and Johnny Beanie are like big and little sister brands from Dillard's. Antonio Milani is like their most more, um, just a little bit more upscale, a little bit more mature brand. Antonio Mil or Johnny Beanie is like the brand's little sister. So the quality and price reflect that in these brands, but they both have some great options. I like this satin tartan skirt for, for holiday. Love this um, gown from... Antonio Milani, they do great gowns. And I used to see them as my go-to brand for uh, professional wear for lawyers. Like a lot of my clients are lawyers and that would this would be our suiting brand. But really now I, I associate them more with really nice evening wear for women over 40. I, I like that gown. I think it's a lovely choice. Love these um, Natalia plaid bow belt pants. Those are really nice. If you can do a high waist like that, that's beautiful. Love this velvet bodysuit. That's a really nice choice. I really like this little jacket. This is that, you know, Chanel style jacket. This is their version of it. Now this is a nice option. This is their midi cowl. This is like a slip dress, but without the slip part. Like, so it covers the shoulders. That looks like it's bra strap friendly. So if you really like the silk slip dress style, but haven't wanted to do a strapless bra or, you know, struggled with that aspect of it. That's a really nice option. I love this plaid blazer. Love the velvet blazer. That's fabulous. Love this dress. I like the fact that there is the fringe trend, but it's also pretty modest here at the bottom. This would probably be best on someone without a very full bust, but I really like that. Love this velvet dress. That's lovely. Um, they just do a great job with, so there's another velvet dress. They do a great job with evening wear. Oh dear. And then, and then we come here. So I don't know what this says, J. Marine. Marie, sorry. No, I don't, I don't. Okay, up close, that's better. It just is very boxy. It's very boxy. I'm not, I'm not loving that. I, I just have to take a better look at this. No, that's a big no. Like that needs some shape or something because it's not short enough and, and hip enough to be boxy like that. Um, this, I've cautioned you against this brand in the past, Pizarro Nights. That's just not a modern dress. It's not, that's not, that's not cute. Hugo Boss on the other hand, the screen suit all day long. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Here's that Jay Marie again, trying to sell us a lace tablecloth. I don't know what in the world was going on with that. That's not cute. Like definitely not a great option. Jessica Howard, another brand I caution against. You're going to find very, very classic slash boring slash dated styles for evening clothes. John Mark, not familiar with this brand. That's fine. It's just a velvet top. Ooh. Hmm. So that's the velvet top. There's the velvet tunic from the same brand. I think those are fine. So reservations about these. This First of all, I would definitely say, believe it or not, the kimono over the top. I just feel like these are so statementy, and they're just for a very specific woman with very specific personal style. If this is your personal style, whatever you do, do not wear it over the black crepe column. Like make it fun, make it edgy, wear it over jeans and, and a tee or over leather. 
Um, and, and this can work for a specific type of personal style. That's your style, but that has to be the statement piece. Everything else has to be pretty simple. Love this from MacDougall, one of my favorite um, evening wear brands. They have a lot of options for all different price, uh, not price points, sorry, ages. Um, this Alex Evenings, that's a pass. There's some wins, some some hits, some misses in Alex Evenings. Let's see this. I don't know. It's Catherine. Oh, it's a cashmere coat. You cannot go wrong with that. That's stunning. Um, roll, uh, Lauren, Ralph Lauren, little pea coat. Lovely. This dress from Vince Camuto. Let me see. It looks like any other color. It's a work dress. It's fine as a work dress. No one's going to get like, we're not going to do cartwheels over it, but it's nice and it's flattering. That little detail in the front is flattering. Same with this one from Maggie London. Like, am I going to jump out of my skin because that's so exciting? No, but it's a nice flattering like work or church dress. Um, I think that's fine from Vince Camuto. It's kind of plain. It's kind of boring. Not the most exciting evening dress possible. This one from Escape, flattering, but not modern. Like, that's not cool. No, no to this. I don't know what's going on here with this Preston New York dress. No. Now this Trina Turk, that's fabulous. Now, whether it's your style or not is a different story, but that's a, a fabulous modern cocktail dress. Love it. Love it. The feather trim is very much a trend. This, whatever this is from Alain, the asymmetric kind of sweater. No. This Kalesa top. No, no. Now, see, I said yes to that statement -y piece up here. This is a more modern and it looks more um, elevated. It looks more expensive. This looks cheap and also very out of style. There's just so much going on, but not in a tasteful way. I hope you can see the difference. Um, I just don't love that. Vince Camuto. Let me see, what is that? The coat? Yeah, that's nice. I always like a coat with a waist. I'm just going to say I like a coat with a belt tie. I don't know if this has a belt tie or not. It's just got that little band at the back, but just makes it more flattering. Dress the population wide leg jumpsuit. Oh, that's nice. It's really nice. Sometimes you have to see it in the color other than black. Whatever this is from Allie Miles, you just we just all need to just hold hands and decide not to buy that. Like, let's just jump over that together. Like, skip past it. CC, this is just very sweet. Like, too sweet. Like, I don't think that that's a sophisticated look. MacDougall, love that gown. That's all drama, if that's for you. Reba, not usually a big fan of Reba, but I actually like this sweater. That's a really cool sweater. Actually looks like a like an expensive contemporary brand sweater and it's under $100. That's kind of cool. Now it might not be your style, but that's actually very much a trend right now, that style. No, what is this LA Miles business? That is not cute. This Alex Marie petite size Skylar, that's really nice metallic mock neck dress. Okay, that's a great, if you want a, a a cocktail dress that's classic and is covered, but at the same time really elegant, that's beautiful. And it's a petite size. So that's really, really nice. That's something to, to consider. I don't like that from John Mark. And then the Colessa next to each other. I don't like either of those. Notice they only do these for mature women. They just only do these for mature women. That though, Neither of those are modern. They just both have too much going on. Don't like that top. London Times, if you're looking for a basic work dress, that's something that could work. Not liking either of these. It's starting making me rethink John Mark. The Escape does these like sequin mesh sleeves and cutouts all the time. They can be really flattering. I just have reservations about those. I don't love them. No to all of these. I hope you can see why. Actually, the, the, the Lauren Ralph Lauren, I actually like. I like this one. That's actually really nice. Um, that's a nice, like, I, I feel like you can wear that to Thanksgiving. You can wear that to church. You can wear that to work. I like that. I don't like the other pieces. I like that Tommy Bahama sweater dress. Um, I don't like that John Mark. Like, it just needs to be a plain long shirt. What's with the weird sleeves on that? One state. That's, that looks like a nice cocktail dress. Wide leg pants. Let's go through this a little bit more quickly. Trina Turk sparkly top. That's a cool modern sequin top. I 
No to r and Richards, no to Pizarro Nights, no to Alex Evenings. Those are just, I just, let's just cut those out. CC, oversized sequin blazer, really, really nice. What in the world? You know, that's that, that actually is a little bit de Seguel inspired to me. You can kind of see that kind of reminds me of like that shirt that I said, if this is your personal style and I could actually see myself wearing something like this, then this is something to consider because it's a modern version of it. As opposed to this one on the right, which this Kalesa, it's statement, but not modern. Although this is the best Kalesa I've seen. That one's not bad, but the other Kalesa pieces have, have not been good. Ali Miles, again, statement, but not modern. John Mark, statement, and in this case, modern. You can see them next to each other and what works. I actually like this from Jay Marie, which is kind of surprising me because I have not liked their other things, but that's a cute like holiday dress. Okay, Eva Varro, now I'm, I'm reconsidering. Like, this is not, that's not, that's not a nice piece. Val Batchel Mishka, this is their lower priced evening wear line and they have beautiful pieces. That's a lovely, lovely dress. It's gonna be very flattering in the tummy area. Love that, love that. Um, peak coat from Ralph Lauren, absolutely cannot go wrong with that. I really like the blazer style dresses. This is very short, however. What in the world, Johnny was. I like some of the Johnny was pieces, but that is very hard. It looks like a mumu. Very hard to wear. Cashmere coat. Uh, our wool coat, that's beautiful, from Catherine Kelly. She has a cashmere coat in here somewhere else. So, Astro the Label, really like that dress. That's a nice, you can see a lot of holiday stuff here. I see collection, that's just no, I don't know what that is. I don't get that. Is it supposed to be like, it, like Japanese inspired, like Japanese art or something? Like what's, I don't quite know what's going on there. I don't like that. Gibson and Latimer is like in between Antonio Milani and Johnny Beanie. Um, it's kind of the line for women. And I think, you know, starting in their thirties is what I was told. Um, that's a really nice dress. I actually like this one from Preston in New York, which is kind of shocking for me because I rarely like their stuff. Um, Ali Miles, nope. Vince Camuto, that's fine. Nope, to this John Mark. Love this from Sugar Lips. That is so cool. It's like a layered sweater. You have to have little bitty shoulders. If you're an orange or green body type, that could be beautiful on you. Um, just no to that belt. Like why velvet and tiered and embroidered? There's just too much. There's just too much going on. Love Dairty. That's a great sweater dress. Love this from Every. This is such a good brand. Um, and it's pretty affordable too. That's a cute little sequin cocktail dress that's got some coverage. It's pretty modest. Like that's really nice. I'm just going to pass on those. No, you do not buy this in multiples or even you don't even buy one. That's a boring dress, Adriana Papel. I'm sorry, just a boring. I see collection, that's awful. Multiples, again, just no. Love this Gibson and Latimer. Um, it's a blazer, sequin blazer. Love it. What in the world? What in the world with this? No. No, Gibson and Latimer, this is a midi sequin dress. So if you want a, a, a cocktail dress or an evening dress that's covered but still modern, that's a really nice option from Gibson and Latimer. I love, Dress the Population is one of my favorite brands for evening wear. They have something for everybody. Wide range of styles, wide range of sizes, decent prices. Um, I really like this one, the Bailey dress. r and Richards, we're going to skip every single time, just say no. CC, that, that top is fine. That's also fine. This is an example of a bad tweed dress from Preston, New York, or bad, like, take on that trend. It is, like, so boring that I can barely get through the sentence talking about it. Oh, my goodness. It's just boring. Like, there's so many better options of things like that in here. This Allison Daly. I think you just need to skip this brand completely forever for the rest of your life, as well as this Allie Miles. I'm sorry, but I'm here to tell you the truth about what works and what doesn't. Ronnie Kobo, this is really, really nice. Oh my gosh. No Allison Daly, no RM Richards. 
Okay, Alex Marie, this is awesome. Um, actually, Dillard's bought this brand and um, I really like what they're doing with it. And that's, that's great. No alley miles, no multiples. Trina Turk, yes. Let's see this. That's awesome. That's like a fun sheath. No Alex evenings. I don't get what's going on there. You know how I feel about the mix of chiffon and then lace like that. No. Slim factor, nice play on words there. There's nothing about this top that's going to make you any more slimming than a modern top. Kalesa, no. Yes to the incline. Matte sequin mesh pull on skirt. That's lovely. This Lucy Paris top, that's fabulous. Um, Julie Jordan, Julia Jordan, that's a really flattering dress. No, no. Johnny Wells, let me see. Actually, that's fine. That's a nice little, little velvet dress. Yeah, that's nice. Their fabrics are so nice, Johnny Wells. Um, and they also have some great signature patterns. Um, Adriana Papel, absolutely not. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with Adriana Papel in general, but some of the, they have hits and misses, and this to me is just boring. This is fabulous from MacDougall. I wish it wasn't open there between the bust, but they didn't ask me. <laughs> um, I, I'm just going to say again, no to multiples, no to most of this John Mark stuff. Yes to Trina Turk. Ali Miles, this is like the only thing I've seen of theirs that looks remotely modern. But just as a rule, no to that brand. Westbound, pretty much no for most of their stuff. This is a no from Adriana Papel. Oh my gosh, this dress from r and Richards is just really bad. Oh, these pants. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. Can we look at this outfit for a second? I want you to look at this whole outfit. Anything and everything that could possibly go wrong in one outfit has gone wrong in this outfit. Anything and everything that could possibly go wrong. I'm going to need to put my feet up after this. I just, I am overwhelmed by how bad this is. The pants, the fit is atrocious. The detail on the side there is so, so like not, not chic, not classy, not elevated. Okay. I mean, the leggings masquerading as pants. You can see that there's a shirt tucked into it. You can see that through the thin, low quality fabric. And then what in the world is with that weird top? That points directly at her crotch. Look at that. Points directly at her crotch. There you go. It's all anyone's going to look at. It is so bad. It is so bad. It is so... I don't know if this was ever out of style from... In style for me to say that it's out of style. But it's just bad. Oh my gosh. So it's this... These brands. Brands like this... They're aiming, they're coming for us. Slim Factor, r &M Richards, sometimes Adriana Papel, Westbound, um, X, well, not Escape as much, Allie Miles, John Mark, Multiples. Did I say that already? Um, you know, some of these brands, you know what they are. You know what they are. You've seen them like I've seen them. Kalesa, these brands are brands to avoid at all costs. They are... Um, they're just not our friend. They're just not our friend. I'm not sure about that from like night evenings. That could work on somebody. That's not bad. The tweed skirt from, from Preston and York. I think that they're, they must have a new designer. They're updating Preston and York because I would have said almost no to any of their things a little while ago. My gosh, Adriana Patel, seriously. That's no, that's really bad. That's really bad. It's really bad. Skies are blue. Okay, it's a velvet blazer. I like that. That's really nice. Oh, no Allison Daly. It's this lounge. That's fine. Jenny was. Okay, that's like ombre sequins. That's that's actually cool. I wouldn't do that with sequins with sequins. I would do that jacket with like leather or denim, but I think that's cool. Badge Mishka, that's cool. Say what? like a very very inexpensive brand but that's a cool little fun sweater Allie Miles you know how I feel about that already I'm not gonna do not get me off on that rabbit hole again Alex Marie um I have liked Alex Marie I just I, I feel like this 
this fold over is a little bit too, maybe that's just a thing that's happening that I'm, I'm not catching, but I feel like it's too long for that sweater, like it's out of proportion. Slim factor, you just, I can't. Adriana Papalmo, John Mark, come on, come on, come on, really? Maggie London, that, that, that could work for somebody. It's kind of boring. Investments, really, 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 really. Who wants like who wants to look like that? That looks like you're wearing a cardboard box or a house or something. I know it's horrible. Kalesa. None of the zhuzhing or ruffles on the bottom is going to make that top any better. And then what is that kind of neckline? I, I hate that so much. I really, I hate it. <gasps> oh my gosh. Three really, 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 really uncute tops in a row. I'm just going to go past that. That first one from Kalesa is just a disaster. Adriana Papel, that's a nice dress. That's a nice dress. Eileen Fisher, no, no. Why, why the tunic with that weird thing in the back? Just make it a regular top. I see collection, just no. Come on, Kalesa. So I'm not sure what's worse. The, the thing is that these brands get busier and more over the top and therefore less modern um, as they get older. I mean, as, as, as they, go for a more mature audience. And I just think, I don't know why, I don't know why those go together. I don't get it. Love this long sleeve, sleeve uh, Lemme Tea from Every. Tommy, oh, no, that's bathing suit, okay. Nope, from Slim Factor, nope, from John Mark. Yes, from One State, if that's your style. I know that's not for everybody. Allison Daly, no. I'm just gonna skip the very short cocktail dresses here. Miss me the flare bootcut jeans. Oh my gosh, Slim Factor. Oh, no, no. I like this Alex Marie little jacket, the little faux fur jacket. That's very cool. Allie Miles plaid shirt, awful. Bucky, it's like a button front cardigan. Yeah, it's like one of the statement cardigans of the season, that style. Preston New York, that feather trimmed blouse. That's fine, that's nice. No to Allison Daly every single time no to pretty much most of these just now velvet tank fine everything else no um alex evenings actually i like that one i think that's nice and i like that i really like this one from dress the population like i said i always like their pieces ming wang this is not a great not a great option allison daly nope my goodness ming wang this is nice that's pretty nice for me, mine. I like that. I, I like other ones better, but I, I, I do like that one. I like this, the vest, not the shirt underneath it. Preston and New York, this is nice. I think they, they must have a new designer. That shirt dress, that's a really nice, a wrap dress, that's very nice. Casper, no. Allison, no. Oh, goodness, what is going on? Jessica Simpson, I think that's a nice modern dress. I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence about that. Ming Wang, this is a nice dress for Ming Wang. Tommy Bahama, that's a nice shirt. Dress the population, that's nice. Kalesa, an IC collection. Why do those keep coming up? Allison Daly, no. Tommy Bahama, that's really nice. I think Tommy Bahama has a new designer because their stuff has gotten a lot more modern. And I think those are really cool. Like, you might not like it, but it's cool. <coughs> Excuse my voice. Maggie London, I kind of like that dress. You know I like Dress the Population. Do not like this Eva Varro. I like that Chelsea and Violet. Like that dress the population, although she looks naked in that one. That's better. I like these pieces from Preston and York. I do like them. I'm and Alex Marie, that's good. Cloth and Stone, that's good. Marina. Eh. Um Okay, so I've covered some of the brands that 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 Dillard's covers. And so if you just want a quick overview of brands, let's look at their brands real fast. Um, actually, I'm going to go into shop all women's brands right here. Um, and I'm just going to say, you know, you're going to want to shop their contemporary. If you go to, if you go to Dillard's and go into contemporary, you'll see some great brand options here. 
but in their featured brands here, Tony Milani, Big Yes, Eileen Fisher, Yes with Reservations, Ugg, Ugg is Ugg, The North Face is The North Face, Lauren Ralph Lauren is a little bit more of the classic Ralph Lauren, Vince Camuto, Some Hits, Some Misses, Free People, I love Free People, it's a specific aesthetic, Johnny Beanie, Younger and Tony Milani, some of it will work, some of it won't, Calvin Klein, Hit and Miss, Michael Kors, More Miss Than Hit, Johnny Was, very specific style, but some nice collectible pieces. And now they have LL Bean as well. So um, let me know what you think of Dillard's, which brands are your go-tos at Dillard's. And um, I'll tell you, you know, I love Johnny Beanie. I love Antonio Milani. I love Gibson Latterman, Latter, Latimer. Um, I love Julia Jordan and Trina Turk and A Loves A, um, Skies Are Blue, um, Free People. Those are the brands that I go to over and over again at, at uh, Dillard's. Um, love to hear your picks and questions in the comments. Love you guys. Bye.